Good morning, YouTube. Well, it's like 6.15 and I have to be at the school at 8.30. Don't think it's too much for me to do before then, but I know I'm not gonna be able to go back to sleep. The rest of this video will be made up of me into or me before and after the interview. I'm not gonna record it all while I'm there. But if you're enjoying checking everything out, seeing the interview process and my travel, leave a like or comment on your travel and your luck with interviews and what you're up to. Let's cut to me getting dressed. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I think is what we're going. All right, so I'm in the airport in Boston now. I have changed into my nice winter clothes, but I just wanted to give everybody a nice view here of the beautiful city itself outside the window. Headed up to my Uber now, but I'll catch up with you guys at the hotel. All right, so it was fairly, fairly easy, but I made it to the apartment that I'm staying at. Um, yeah, I guess now for the evening, I'm going to head over to the school, do a little practice walk, make sure I know my way there when I head over in the morning for the interview. But other than that, I guess I'm gonna show here tonight as well. Um, Following this, I'm gonna get you into the rest of the video where I talk about graduating college, preparing yourself for that interview process, but stay tuned, enjoy, and I'm gonna take you through the rest of my time here in Boston. So I just returned from, oh God, that was dumb, I just hit my head. So I just returned from a trek around the city for like an hour, hour and a half or so. Um, got some coffee. And now I'm back in the hotel room, or not hotel room, this is like a little Airbnb. I'm back in my Airbnb for the night. Um, it's pretty cool so far. I'm liking the city. I'm seeing a lot of college students, which is wild, but I mean, I guess I should have expected that because we're right by Boston University. Um, I'm going to shower and then come back and talk about whatever I feel like talking about. So I will catch you guys in a few this week's video I'm going to make from the comfort of this nice warm bed in my Airbnb. But thanks for tuning in guys. Um, I really want to go over some of the things that helped me score an interview and the reason that I'm in Boston in the first place. So um, my first tip for you as a graduating college student, graduating high school student, whatever you're doing is going to be to use your resources. So as far as resources go, pretty much every school that I've seen or know about has just a way for you to um, connect with companies and other people. So whether you have a career services department, whether you have a guidance counselor who's set to help you graduate from high school, specifically in college, um, there are usually career services areas and or um, professors that are in your field or major that will help you score an interview. Specifically for Catawba, we have a connection with an app um, called Handshake. It's like a career app that lets you upload your resume and everything, sort of like LinkedIn a little bit. But I ended up using that to score this interview. I didn't use any of the career services stuff. I just uploaded my resume, the things about me, um, my major, everything like that on Handshake. And it was the rest was done for me. I got a message from someone 
um, who was interested in having a phone interview did that and now I'm here in Boston for an on-site interview. So that is one thing is use the resources that are given to you and recommended to you by your institution of choice. <coughs> Number two on my list of things you should be doing to score your interviews is apply, 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 apply. You should be applying to schools all the time, not schools, why did I say schools? You should be applying to jobs consistently. You're not gonna get your first job choice. You're not gonna get your last job choice. There's any, you'll get any number of jobs. Depending on your resume, your skills and everything, it's really, really gonna come down to which places have the um, applicants that more or less qualify for the job or what they're looking for from an individual. So if they're looking for a college student who's graduating, then yes, you're gonna get the job. But if you apply for something that's not specifically meant for college students, maybe you won't get it. Um, it really just depends on the job, depends on the employer, but apply to all of them anyways. Apply to everything. Even if you don't meet all of the requirements, say you need three to five years of experience, go ahead and apply. Just go, go for it. List what you do know, list what you can do, and you might just get lucky. Um, I'm not experienced in every field that of the things that I've applied to, but I don't lie on my resume or anything. I put down exactly what I can do. I have gotten calls from some of them and some have told me, you know, I just don't fit the needs for their institution. But you know what? I at least had the chance to speak to them and you might just get that lucky phone call of, hey, we know you don't have that three to five years of experience that we're looking for, but we're gonna take a shot on you. So just apply to whatever you possibly can and that will give you some options in the end. Even if it's not a lot of options, you will get some options and some options are better than zero. And I guess to go along with that, is just don't stick to your one select job. There may be a job that you want above anything else. Do not stick to that one thing because you could fit in a number of jobs, a number of fields, a number of type of things that relate to your major. And don't, don't settle yourself down on one idea. Be a little bit adventurous about it. You know, sort of go out there. Maybe there's a, you're more of a sound technician or something. I'm using myself as an example here, but maybe you're more of a sound technician, but there is a audio visual job that includes lighting and um, that includes lighting and video on there as well. And you should take a risk on that. Take the risk, apply for the job and see what you can figure out. I mean, what the worst thing that could happen is they tell you no. So go for it, apply for jobs. Another tip that I have for you is to use your friends and family, your network. There are so many people. So I don't know if you've heard the theory that it only takes like six connections and you can reach anybody in the world, like six people and you can reach anyone. Just a line of six, that's like a theory that I've heard before. I don't know exactly how it works, I'm just using this example here, but that really goes to show you that you can reach anyone through the connections that you have. Specifically, just reach out to your family and friends, see what they're up to, post on Facebook, like your personal Facebook or anything like that. Post to them and say, hey, is anybody looking to hire someone in this field? Someone might be able to recommend you from there. I haven't done this myself because I have scored my own interviews and done um, an all right job doing so, but this can help you if you know, you've know you been applying to jobs, if you've been using your resources and nothing's coming through, talk to people who know people that can get you into a field that relates to yours. There are plenty. I, I do have, um, there are going to be plenty of options for you. So do that. Go ahead and call up your mom or your aunt or your cousin who happens to work as a wedding receptionist and she can score you a, you know, a gig playing for a wedding or something. I don't know, I'm just throwing things out there, but you know, oh God, there goes the phone. <laughs> Call up someone in your family, a really close friend, someone you met at an open mic three weeks ago and ask them, hey, do you have any leads for me? Um, I guess one example I can use for myself in this is that I had um, the sound designer who helped out at Carowinds when I worked at that amusement park who actually sent out my re is sending out my resume currently to a couple of different places as a sound engineer as well following this interview. So you can use those, those sort of connections, those resources that you gained from others and from other places of employment, internships, anything like that, and score yourself a job in that field. I happen to make a really good connection with this guy, the sound designer, and he's doing me a favor in return because we have, we have that connection. So use your friends, use your family, use whatever network that you have and you can get yourself a job. Lastly, I just wanna say, do not get yourself discouraged. 
it's gonna take a while. I mean, I've spent weeks and weeks applying to jobs. Yeah, I've gotten calls and stuff, but I'm not sure if, which one is right for me yet. I'm not sure if I have one that's right for me yet. And all in all, I just think you need to take the risk, take the chance and go for it. Keep applying, do not get discouraged. Um, you're gonna get no's. I've gotten so many no's. I applied for jobs between, like I've been applying for jobs all year this this last school year. And this is only my like third interview that I've had so far. So if that goes, goes to tell you, I've, I've probably applied for a couple dozen jobs and I've scored two or three interviews. So if that tells you anything, you're gonna get a lot of no's. You're gonna get a lot of people who don't respond to you whatsoever, but that doesn't mean that you are not worth it. Um, you're not allowed to feel sorry for yourself whenever you haven't even gotten to succeed yet. You've got it. You can do this and get out there and get yourself into your dream career. It, it's gonna take a long time. Have some realistic expectations, but you will have your dream career. Just believe in yourself, be passionate about it and keep going. With that guys, those are just a couple of tips I have to help you in the interview process in the post or the, the last semester of college sort of process. I'm living it right now. Keep pushing on and get yourself a job out there. I'm gonna work in whatever field is given to me and it might not be what I expected. I might not be as, like, out there engineering. I might not be gigging as a local musician for all my money. I'm still gonna gig. I'm still gonna have my hobbies and stuff, but this is just, all part of the process of growing up, all part of the process of getting yourself out there in the real world. And I believe in every single one of you that you can get out there and do it. So good luck in graduating. Um, hit me up if you have any questions. You can find me at my Instagram, Seth Pittman and them. You can send me a message here on Facebook, comment down below and um, catch me live on twitch.tv slash Dungeon Seth. Whenever I do go live right now, it's a little bit um, spotty just because I am at school finishing up my last semester and coming to places like this for interviews, but I will still be posting every Friday here on YouTube. So please, if you want to keep up with that, subscribe, um, leave a like, and come back next Friday for another awesome video with me. Thanks guys.